Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. I'm your host, CyberMonkey, and this YouTube channel is all about documenting my journey to earning the OSCP. Uh, so for the last couple weeks, we've been going over Defend the Web. I love the content. It's a nice little security platform that's great for pen testers to kind of uh, go and visit. Great user interface, very easy to navigate. They also have some useful articles. I'm not gonna say it's the best articles in the world, but they will benefit you greatly along the way. And there is a forum channel for you to reach out and ask for assistance. So definitely recommend Defend the Web. A lot of great, great content. There's a lot of stuff to work through. So highly recommend, great for beginners. Uh, definitely check it out. We also have some Hack This site and some over the wire content to post as well. Eventually I do have to work my way to posting that. Uh, but for today, we are going to focus on Defend the Web, and we are going to pick it up where we left off at the HTTP method. So for those of you that may have been stuck on the HTTP method for a while, I'm going to provide you with a little bit of hints just to help you get in the right direction. And if you are still stuck, by all means, I will include the solution as well for you to go on and utilize that if need be. Um, so like I said, HTTP method intro is going to be the level that we are working on today. So let's go on and jump into it. So the description for uh, HTTP method is use the post method to send the password to the following page. Great. We don't have any input field to actually input the password. Um, so really, where do we go from there? Um, so I'm going to show you what I did to solve it. You might have a slightly different methodology to it. That's fine as long as you get to the finish line. Um, I really don't see it being an issue too much, but uh, most likely you're going to have a pretty similar methodology to solving this as I did. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to really get burp up and spinning. So we're going to turn the proxy on. We're gonna hop over to burp. We're gonna make sure that intercept is on to pick up any uh, transmitting traffic. And then we're just gonna refresh that page again. As you can see, we intercepted some raw data and it looks like it's a Git request. Um, the instruction specifically said, uh, send the password using post. So the next question is, how do we get a post method format respective of defend the web? So as you know, we've gone through maybe about 20 levels before this, and some of those I am fairly certain, I can't say with 100% certainty, but I am fairly certain at least one of those use a post method at, at one point or another. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through each one. We're gonna look for anything where we're sending data, um, like a username or password field, and we're gonna see if that's using the post. And of course, we are going to use that as our blueprint for building our own post method. So let's go on and jump over and do that. So first, we're just going to turn this intercept off. Um, I actually just wanted to use that just to kind of give you an example. And then we're going to jump over to our playground list. And as you can see, we have the whole entire listing of different levels to get through. And then we're just going to start at the top. Let's go on and select intro one. OK, you can see here that we are prompted for a username and a password. So what we're going to do is we're just going to enter username here. As you can see, I've already done it. Sorry about that. And then down in the password field, we're just going to put same thing password here. We're going to make sure the proxy's on and we are going to turn intercept on on burp. And we are going to hit login to send that data. Now here we are prompted with that post method. Um, you can see that it's a post method for intro one and you can see all the necessary information. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this over to Adam. I prefer doing my edits in Adam. I can save the different variations and paste. Now, before I continue, I'm going to strongly encourage that you stop the video and you attempt to solve it on your own. What you are looking at on the screen, which is the post method from intro one, this is 100% the solution to HTTP method. It's a slight variation of what you are looking at now. I strongly encourage you just to look up look up information on the post method and HTTP and try to see if you can put together your own post and send it up successfully without me giving you any more information than I have already. Um, so the answer 100%, we are looking at it now. You have to make some slight, and when I say slight, I mean they are very, very slight changes. So definitely try to do it on your own. And before we continue any further, 
please take this time to like, share, and subscribe my page or my YouTube channel. It goes a long way, and there's going to be a lot of awesome content coming out down the road, as well as some giveaways and doing some live filming once we build up enough on subscribers. So definitely subscribe to that and stay tuned for all that content that's going to be released. Um, so let's go on and jump into the solution so I'm not wasting too much of your time. And if you have any questions, be sure to kick them down in the comments section below, or maybe you just want to chat. If you do want to know my Discord, you can always just kind of pop the question, or at some point I will get around to including it on the um, YouTube uh, cutscenes. I just kind of keep forgetting to, but we will get there eventually. So I'm going to jump back over to the um, my complete method for the post format, just to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. Now you can see here, go on and take a minute to look, and you can see that the changes are very, very, uh, very minor. So you can see here, I'm just gonna copy this over in case we're having any CSRF issues. Um, perfect, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up and we are gonna jump back over, and let me actually uh, turn the intercept off and what we're going to do is we're just going to jump back over to um, HTTP method. So we've been having some, um, it's like some server issues with um, Defend the Web. This is actually like my third time attempting to film this and I just end up we end up getting a bunch of error messages and um, we just kind of repeat the process over again so if this wastes a little bit of your time I apologize hopefully we can get this working if not I will have to do the filming tomorrow um, but what I will probably do is I'll probably do hack this site to be able to push some content out um, all right, perfect. So let's see if we can kind of ride this into completion. All right, so we're going to jump back over to HTTP method. You can see the password is here, 959, etc. You're going to copy everything, excluding those uh, single quotations. I just added that to the bookmark. Um, And now we're going to jump back over to Adam. You can see here in this raw data, what we're going to do is we're just going to remove that password here and we're going to drop in that password. Then we're going to copy all of that. Then we're going to jump back over to burp, turn the intercept on. Refresh that page. Now, typically what I do in a situation like this is I send it to the repeater. And I slowly make my edits and everything. Um, and I just check the responses on those and kind of go through them and see what I'm looking at. So in this case, perfect. We can see here that HTTP 1, 200, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, that it's a solution just to show you. We're going to paste it in there. We're going to forward all these, push it through, and then we're going to jump back over. As you can see here, we did actually just solve HTTP method. Um, so as you can see, it, it's nothing too difficult. Really, it's some slight modifications to that um, to that post method that you're pulling from intro one. Very, very, very slight modifications, everyone. Um, so I strongly encourage you uh, to try to solve it on yourselves. It's a big milestone. I think it's very important you understand how HTTP works. Um, to definitely be able to move forward, especially on the web application side. So definitely check that out um, and do a little bit of research, see if you can solve it on your own. If you were able to solve it on your own, definitely kick down in the, in the comment section below. Let me know that you were able to solve it. If you have a different solution for how you solved it, also include that in the comment section below. And maybe if you just need some help or you wanna chat it up a little bit, by all means, same thing, kick them down in the comment section below. I try to be as responsive as possible. Other than that, please like, share, and subscribe. It goes a long way and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks everyone.